Hey, what's up everyone? This is going to be a video on how to install TensorFlow with GPU support for Anaconda and Windows 10. So if you saw my first video, I went through and explained this, but looking back, I think I did a poor job. So I want to do another video to do a better job at it. So what TensorFlow is, is a machine learning slash deep learning library for Python which is probably one of the best, most supported, most popular ones. So it's definitely the one you want to go with, at least the one that most people would recommend. So if you want to install, you just go to the TensorFlow website, go to install, you'll pick your platform. So I'm on Windows, so I'll show you how to do for Windows. So select Windows. So there's two versions of TensorFlow. There's the CPU version and the GPU version. And the CPU version um, is easier to install, but the GPU version is the faster, better version. So if you just want to play around with TensorFlow, then go for the CPU version. But if you want to do some real computing and not have your training, your model training take days, then go with the GPU version. So the install for GPU is a little bit longer and the first prereq is you're going to need an NVIDIA GPU and you're going to need one with CUDA and a compute capability of 3.0 or higher. So if you're not sure which ones qualify, you can go to the link right here and you can see. And I'd recommend choosing one with at least four gigabytes of VRAM or higher, really the more the better. Uh, mainly because if you can't, if you don't have enough VRAM to load your training data into it, your model's just not going to run. So <clears throat> it's best to, it's best to go with more. Um, so yeah, like I said, four gig, four gigabytes or more is is better. So the first thing to do, really, it's not listed here, but if you don't have um, Microsoft Visual Studios installed, you'll need to install that. So you can go to, oops, you can just Google uh, Visual Studios and it'll bring you here. So you'll just want to select to download, <coughs> excuse me, the Community 2017 edition. So you'll just click and it'll bring you to a download page and the download will start. And then you'll just need to work your way through this. Make sure when you go through this to um, make sure that your the C++ compiler is installed. I did it for, um, I think it's it was Community 2014 or 2015. I went through, by default, the C++ compiler wasn't checked. And I had to go through and redo it. So just make sure when you run through this. <clears throat> that your the C++ compiler installs. So once you have Visual Studios installed, the next step is to install the CUDA toolkit. So for that, you'll just go to Nvidia search just search for CUDA toolkit. It'll be your first selection and you'll click and download that and you'll pick your platform Windows, you'll pick your version, version 10 and you'll pick your installer. I just did local mainly because if you need to reinstall you I don't know you have it right there and ready so I picked local and then click to download it's pretty big so <clears throat> if your internet connection is kind of slow it might take a while and so yeah once it's downloaded just run it click next until it's all complete so the next thing to do once you have the CUDA toolkit installed is you'll need to set your environment variable paths. So to do that, um, you can just go to the start menu and search environment. And then this window will pop up. If you select environment variables, go to your variable named path, go to edit. And then what you'll do is You'll select new and you will, you'll need to give it this path. So by default, your 
the GPU or the, the CUDA toolkit's gonna go to program file slash NVIDIA GPU computing toolkit slash CUDA slash version eight. And then you need to get the bin folder and you'll need a path for the um, lib NVP. So just to show you, we'll go to program, program files, NVIDIA GPU computing toolkit, CUDA version eight bin, just copy, <clears throat> click uh, new and just paste it there. And then you'll do the same for this lib NVP. You'll copy paste and create a new uh, path for that. So once you're done with that, your toolkit is ready. Then the next step is to update your NVIDIA driver. So to do that, you can just Google search NVIDIA driver and it'll bring you to this page. And then you'll just search for the graphics card that you have. So I have the GTX 1070. So I select GeForce, GeForce 10 series, GTX 1070, Windows 10, 64 bit English. Search, download your driver and run the application that downloads. Click next until it's done. Then boom, your graphics card driver is up to date. Next thing to do is to get this QDNN 5.1. So this is another file that's for deep learning. It's a like deep neural, the DNN is deep neural network. So it's for, it's libraries with tools based around, based around that. So again, you'll just, you'll search for QDNN. It'll bring you to NVIDIA. You'll click download. For this one, for some reason, you need to have an NVIDIA profile. So just give it an email and a password to create a profile. Then click download. It'll ask you for some agreement. And then you need to select the version 5.1 for CUDA 8. So you'll just come down, find the QDNN version 5.1 for Windows 10. Click it. It'll download. So while that's downloading, you also need to, this isn't like an installer like the CUDA toolkit is. So it's just a folder with a few DLL files and some other files. So what you need to do is, well, let's open it. It's a zip file and we need to place this CUDA folder somewhere. And then we also need to create a, an environment variable for the path to it. So what I did was I just went to C and I just dragged this onto C, this CUDA folder. So you can see that it's this right here, CUDA. And then the path that you need is to the bin folder because it's looking for this QDNN 64 underscore five DLL. So just copy this and then like we did before, environment variable, scroll down to path, oops, path, um, edit. And oops, you can see I already have one right here, C CUDA bin, and that's it. That's all you need. So once you've done that, we are done with all the graphics card dependencies. So if everything went, if everything was correct there, we're ready to do the TensorFlow install. So if you're using Anaconda, they recommend that you create a Conda environment for TensorFlow. So if you're not familiar with that, I just made a video on it so you can watch that to see exactly what um, conda environments are. So what you'll do is just open up a command window and copy and paste oops, this command conda create dash n tensorflow. What that does is create 
a new Conda environment called TensorFlow. So once you do that, you should be able to activate Tensor, TensorFlow. And then you'll know that it's activated because it'll say TensorFlow right before this path deal. And now we're ready to do the pip install. So come down to the GPU version of TensorFlow and copy this whole thing right here. Paste. And then run it. And what this will do, it'll download TensorFlow version 1.0. Actually, it might be 1.1 now. So yeah, once you've run that, then you should have a correct install of TensorFlow with GPU support. So when you type Python, let me move this up, and then you say import tensor, TensorFlow, you'll get, oops, let's see, you should get five statements. Ah, crap. Let's try this again. Make it bigger so you can actually see it. Um, so import no oh, Python import TensorFlow. So yeah, it'll you'll get these five statements that say CUDA or QBlast64 found QDNN found QFFT and VCUDA and QRAND. And if all those say successful, like it says here, successful, successful, yeah, yeah, then you're all good. And yeah, one thing to note, I still have version 1.0 installed, but I've no, I did have um, 1.1 installed for a little bit, and I noticed when you do the import, they've suppressed this these statements. So if you do install 1.1, you shouldn't see those um, those five statements anymore. So don't be worried; it's still working. So um, yeah, so that's it. That's all I've got. If you've got questions, please let me know. Leave a comment. I'll do my best to help. If you like the video, give it a like. And if you want more videos, hit the subscribe button. And yeah, I'll be back for more. See you guys.